Hold up. What is up guys? Average Snipers here. I am back. You have not heard me in a while and uh, I want to thank Juliano for covering up for me. Uh, he did a pretty big job on our channel. He's been uploading daily for us for about a month now. That's a big comeback for him. Alright, I'll be coming back now. Be supporting you guys throughout the gym modes, the TTGs. Alright, I got you all back with that good stuff. Uh, kind of kind of busy too and also my mic had broken so not the best thing. But unfortunately, guys, when I was recording that last video, my PS4 uh, actually did not have the um, the clip saved to the capture gallery, and we actually lost the whole off season. All right, I'm pretty pissed about that. But I'll just show you the team really quickly. I'll show you who we lost and who we gained here. Um, I don't recall we gained anyone, if I remember. No, I'm gonna go roster moves. I'm gonna go in contracts. All right. Uh, I will show you. We had drafted a pretty good player. I know we had drafted a pretty good player. Hopefully, he pans out, but I'll just show you the contracts, all right? Don't be scared if you don't see Connor McDavid. He'll be in the minors, probably, just because of his contract, the way it is. Yeah, there it is, all right? So, let's just go here. Overall, all right. We still have Cronwell. He's still back. Lucic, Clefbaum, Lucian Hopkins, Dry all right? All the same guys. Mark Streit. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's our main roster. In the system, we have Connor McJesus. Darnell Nurse, Jesse Pooja Jarvi, he's 80 overall, pretty good player, hoping to grow for him this year, Darnell Nurse, 83, he should grow, uh, Ethan Bear, another guy we wanted him to grow, we're going to give him one more year, see what happens with him, and that could, be, could be definitely be trade bait, uh, yeah, there's here, Tyler Benson, alright, another good pick here, he got a 70 overall, pretty good pick, here's Caleb Jones, another guy similar to Ethan Bear, a lot lower overall, He's nonetheless the same. And here's the um, the man we drafted. Fifth overall, Kyle Foot, 62 overall defenseman. Low elite, 18 years old. This kid looks like he could be something from the Kelowna Rockets. Uh, and Matthew Strom. All right, guys, just want to mention the Kelowna Rockets is uh, one of Giuliano's favorite WHL teams. And he's been admiring him for a while, just like I love Erie, right? Just because of Connor McDavid. But he loves Kelowna Rockets, all right? We got a couple nicknames for those guys. Nonetheless, that is a team. Uh, really disappointed, guys, that it didn't save. I mean, I, we had uh, went after some free agents. I can't even remember who they were. But I know we had went after some guys. And uh, I don't know where they went. But I'm sure they sent other teams because they didn't like our team for, like, the uh, the winning factor. So, that sucks. But, uh, nonetheless, we are back here with the series. We're getting back on track and definitely spreading out the love, guys. Thanks for all the stuff. We're at 70 subs now. Uh, watch out for our Movember pack openings. We'll be coming with that pretty soon. Probably Friday, sometime around there. And, uh, yeah, so the channel's doing pretty well. I'm just going to take a sip of my water. Ah, all right. All right, we're back here, boys. Let's see what we have in the miners. Let's bring up David. Yeah, okay. We're gonna bring up Connor. Yeah, I think we're gonna bring up Nurse. And we're gonna see what we can send down. Let's see what we can send down. Yeah, so we can, yeah, we can send down Yakimov and Fane. And bring these guys up. We can bring down Pitlick. And we'll check our lines. All right, let's check our lines here for a year two with the Edmonton Oilers. We got 93 overall Connor McDavid centering. Nugent Hopkins on the second one. Drysettle on the third. Mark Latestu on the fourth. Uh, Eberle, Yakupov, Maroon, and Lucic, Hendricks, Cassian, Tyler Beck, and Yiro Pakarinen. All right. Just wanted to point out here. I was thinking of some ideas, boys. So what we're going to do in this video is we need to make a move here in Edmonton, all right? We're not going to keep here all our young players just going to rot and do nothing, all right? We're going to look just carefully at who we got. So we got Milan Lucic, all right? Milan Lucic can definitely be a good factor for us if he can play some second-line minutes. Right now he's playing top-line minutes. Not a bad thing, considering he's playing with Connor McDavid. Jordan Eberle, uh, I guess you could say same kind of story. Probably better minutes on the second line, not going to lie. So Maroon as well. So let's just pretend we would have our thing, all right? We'll put Maroon here, like that. Yakupov. See, Yakupov would be the guy out in this situation for me. Uh, Eberly, and we'd have like a guy like this. This would be our team, right? I would almost move out this here. Dry settle up. Nugent Hopkins might be the guy out here. 
and Latestu would probably switch out here. So guys like, uh, I don't know, say Nugent Hopkins, Yakupov, they're movable, all right? These guys, like if we were to pick a core, right? Let me just put back the best lines. But if we were to pick a core, I don't know who I'd want to build around. So let's just check last year's stats. I want to refresh my memory on who did pretty well last year. So Milan Lucic, let's check carefully here. So Milan Lucic on the first line, 48 points, all right? Uh, is it really a first line player? No, that's for sure. 48 points, not going to cut it. Um, uh, plus five on a bad team, I guess. That's not going to cut it for me in the first line. All right, so Milan Lucic definitely, he's not playing up to expectations. Let's check who's next. Connor McDavid. He had a ter oh, he had an okay year last year. 54 points, but I, I guess, you know, the team didn't really do that well, right? So Connor McDavid, I'm giving him another chance here, obviously. Uh, Jordan Eberle, 51 points, right, let's check the next guy, Patty Maroon, 37, alright, so that's pretty good for Patty Maroon, I'm, that's a good expectation, uh, Nugent Hopkins, 41, that's probably almost, like, that's bad second line production, alright, but that, listen, just considering it's on a bad team, right, uh, Yakupov, okay, this is bad, 32 points in 82 games, you don't want that, that's way too low for me. All right, let's check. Whoops, let's check the next guy. Hendricks. I don't really care about Hendricks. Leon Draisaitl. Uh, yeah. See, thirty-eight points. So on a third line, thirty-eight points. But he could be playing on a second line, where Nugent Hopkins only put three points up more than him, getting like a lot more ice time. Right? You see what I'm trying to say, boys? So we definitely need to make a move here with our sentiment. I don't know. I I'm looking right now, and I think Nugent Hopkins is the guy out. Not because of he's that he's bad. It's just that he's a lot older than Dreisaitl. He's three years older. I still think Dreisaitl can grow at low elite. So I definitely think that can be an asset here. Nail Yakupov, I would like him in a third line role here. If we were to do that, I would put him in a third line role. But I still think he has some good trade bait kind of acquisition. If we can... If he has significant value, if he doesn't have significant value, we can put him down here to the right wing spot. But let, then again, he's he's 23 medium top six, so I don't think he'll have much value. But anyways, defensively, all right, er, uh, Nicholas Cronwall. Nicholas Cronwall actually got picked up, all right, uh, so he's not too bad. Uh, Oscar Clefbaum, uh, yeah, he's solid. Oscar Clefbaum should have a better year this year. He's 87 overall. He should have a really good year. Mark Streit's always good. We've got to keep the veteran guys here. Adam Larson. He has 31 points. I wouldn't want to trade Adam Larson. He's a good top four. Uh, Darnell Nurse, all right? That might be a guy. Like, Okay, he's top six. It's fine. It's good. Perfect, actually. Justin Schultz. He is... Uh, yeah, he's top six. You know what? Our decor, I don't want to touch it. The decor for this year is perfect. I like the way it's looking. I like Clefbaum getting that top line minutes. I want to see what he can, what he can do with Cronwell this year. Hopefully he gets some points up. Darnell Nurse as well in that bottom young pairing there. Schultz and Nurse, and then Streit's veteran presence with Adam Larson's good defensive hockey. I want to see what he's going to get us, all right? Goaltending, Cam Talbot. All right, he had, uh, I don't remember his numbers last year. I think they were pretty, like, okay. Nine, yeah, 914, uh, 9.14, 2.71. Not bad on a bad team, right? They're, I mean, look, 32 losses, right? But then here's the problem, boys. I need to get a backup here. I don't know where. we got to get a backup. 896 save percentage. 3.14 goals against average. 4 and 5. we got to get him someone out there, right? Scratch, guys. Any scratch? Okay. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold your voice. Oh, okay. Okay. So we actually have a surplus of defensemen here. Griffin and Reinhardt being one of them. Oh, this 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 could be good. Oh, we got, even got Davidson. I didn't even notice. I thought Davidson was a full forward. But Davidson is also a defenseman. So you know what, boys? I think we're going to make a deal here. We are going to make a deal, in fact, in the Edmonton uh, team here. It will be not a crazy deal, but I, it'll be definitely franchise changing, all right? Uh, it's going to be tough here, boys. I got to see what we can work with here. Uh, all right. Trade and improve. All right. Let's just take a quick peek at the trading blocks. Just check who, if there's anybody in particular we like, just off the bat. Anaheim, nobody. Arizona, nobody. Boston, nope. Justin Williams, not what I'm looking for. Calgary, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't, I, I really don't think you'll find anything that we would like here. Oh, I remember this kid from a, a GM mode, Francis Perron. He used to be like 90 overall. I remember he was a pretty good sniper. Nothing there. Luongo. 
Nah, we need a, a cheaper backup. Nah, no longer. Oh, Ryan Miller is a fringe starter. Yeah, you know what? Let's try to acquire. Uh, he's 1.78. I mean, he, you know, 84 overall probably said it's some pretty solid backup goaltending. So let's try to get Ryan Miller. And who else does Vancouver have? Well, let's just see what we got to put on the table right now. Let's just look at Vancouver first. Uh, who does Vancouver have that we would like? Chris. Wow, jeez. Chris Tanev is the most. Their highest valued guy. Jeez. I don't know what we're get about them. Uh. Who's this kid? Tremakin. Tremkin. Tremkin? He's a defenseman. Fuck that. Uh, I would probably want some support, like a left winger. Oh, there he is. Perfect left winger. Louis Erickson. 87 overall. We could def definitely take him on. All right, then, okay, so left wing was pretty low after Lucic, right? So now we bring out the Bruins duo. That's right, boys. Uh, okay, so Yakupov has pretty good value. I mean, it could it not really have to be movable. We'll see if we can keep him, and we're going to throw in Ryan Nugent Hopkins here, all right? This is a risky move since Nugent Hopkins could put up some good points with us on a good team, but I don't want to I don't wanna risk Drysaddle's growth for him, all right? So they want a second. Uh, like, listen, if we're doing this in real life here, Nugent Hopkins in a second, all right, for Louis Erickson is, is more than fair, right? So I don't think I want to give up that second round pick. If I were to give up something else, it would be, whoops, that's not going to go through. It would be something a little less, but, but the looks, just by them saying no to that, I might have to give that second up, considering he's that much better of a hockey player. So let's try a third. So, Nugent Hopkins in a third for Ryan Miller, our backup, and Louis Erickson. Will it go through? No, it didn't. All right, we're going to have to put in that second. If this doesn't go through, I won't make this deal unless I really want this. Nugent a second for Miller and Erickson. Will it go through? It's too far off. Hmm. I guess Ryan Miller is still a pretty good goaltender. Maybe that's why. But I, I, well, is, is Erickson the first liner? He's a second line forward, so this shouldn't be hard. So a second and a third, Nugent Hopkins for Miller and Erickson. Will it go through? No, too far off. Okay. I can't I really want this deal. I really want it to go through. Uh what else could we give up? Forward wise. What could we give up? Who's the blocky? Here, this guy. Lane's the blocky. AHL top six, and he has that much potential. Give him away. That's an easy out. Ah, I don't know about skaters. Shit. Alright. You take like a skater here. Come on, Vancouver. Give me a skater. Manga. Jason Manga. League approved. Will it go through? Oh, uh, whoops. No, not enough. My god, what does Vancouver want for this guy? Jesus. Is it is the difficulty on hard for this? Let's try another third. Just a touch. Alright, so this would go through if I add a second, but is it worth it? Two second round You know what guys? By the looks of what I'm feeling right now, I just don't think second round picks are worth that much. I mean, look, we we get low elite, but we saw what happened, right? We there's like there's like nobody there. There's after the f first like 15 guys, there's nobody. So we're gonna do it. Two seconds, a third, Nugent Hopkins, and some useless prospect for Mengia, Erickson, and Miller. Will it go through? Yes, it did. On be I uh, happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the Vancouver Canucks, rated R, and we considered it a done deal. All right, boys. Let's just assistant coach best rosters for now. I am not done my shopping. All right, so let's continue. All right, so let's just look at the lines now. So forwards. All right. So let's go by overall. Yeah. Okay. So first line is probably going to be looking uh, something like McDavid, Lucic, Erickson. Then we're probably going to have Dreisaitl, Eberle, and that's the hole again, all right? Dreisaitl, Eberle, what? I mean, we need something to see someone, someone there, all right? We need someone to fill that hole. We can't. I don't want Yakupov there, so we're going to have to move an asset out to gain another asset. This is how it works, boys. So Matthew Strom. Are we willing to part ways with a medium top six 18 year old at 57 overall? Let's just put it into perspective, all right? Okay, we drafted him actually sixth overall. Shh, that's tough. This is tough, boys. Sixth overall, he's 57. Let's just say in two years, 
he even if he grows 20 over 20 overalls, let's say he grows 20 overalls, he'll still be only 77. And with the medium top six, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know because I don't know how potential works in this particular game. I know in the past, medium top six gets you nothing, but is this guy like a lot better than like expected? Like, I don't know because he's sixth overall. But anyways, right wingers, let's just shop. Okay, Vancouver's got nothing. I need a second line right winger. Or left, no. Uh, left wingers, pardon me. So we'll start with Winnipeg. Uh, this is this is Winnipeg. Oh, they have Thomas Tatar, I didn't notice. So Thomas Tatar, could be good. That's a pretty high value though. Thomas Tatar would definitely fit the bill here. That's not gonna work, too high. A little lower, like an 86. So like a Marcus Johansson would work. Uh, yeah, this would work. What did he get last year in points? How did he do last year statistically? 38 points, that's, eh, that's not what I want. I need like 40, 50 points, like 45 points. An easy 45, almost a 50. All right, nothing in Anaheim. Arizona, Domi. That could be a fair trade. 45 points, all right? That's pretty good. If you could put up 45 points with us, uh, you know what? Let's try it. Max Domi. Are you willing to give it away, Arizona? We're going to need Max Domi, and I would want Toby Reader, maybe, right? We could squeeze in Reader. Yeah, third line scorer. What did he put up last year? 30 points, 20 points. 45 points. Yeah, we need this guy. 45 points. All right, that's a pretty good year if you'd ask me. All right, so we're gonna take this guy. Uh, oh, defense. Mm, yeah, defensively. Oh boy, we need we need have some surplus defensively. Look at this. Oh, what a disaster. All right, so we're definitely gonna give up someone here. I don't, I don't want to give away straight just because I think he could help us. So if I do give away one, it's gonna be this guy right here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be Justin Schultz. All right, Justin Schultz. He has a pretty big contract, too, three and a half mil. So if we're getting these two guys back, I'm gonna be fair, and I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze in something for these guys. I'm gonna squeeze them in uh, for a fourth. They're a fourth round pick. Justin Schultz, Matthew Strom, sixth overall last year for Max Domi and Toby Reader. Will it go through? No, it didn't. Too far off. Let's change that for a third. I really like this deal here, boys, because we're getting two roster players back for. One roster player on defense that is going to be a surplus. So that's two added forwards for basically nothing. All right, let's try it again. Not enough. All right, I'm not doing a. I am not. I repeat, not doing a first round pick. Second round pick. Yes, it goes through. Jason Menga to the miners, and we acquire it. The Edmonton Oilers have made two deals on the opening season here. That is a big move for the Oilers moving forward here. And these are going to be franchise-changing moves here. Uh, I just want to see the team now. We're at about 18 minutes. So let's just... We're going to get the roster done and we'll sim next game. Next, next, uh, next, not next game, next episode, all right? So we got these guys done. Yeah, yeah, yada, 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 you. Let's try edit the lines. All right, let's see what we got to work with. Best lines. Okay, so these are the best lines. They have Domi on... Nah. Nah, I don't, I, just, I don't know if I should do this now. Because look, they have Domi here. Okay, they have Reader on the third. Yeah, Reader's playing on the third. But I don't know, I think I'd rather put Yakupov here with Reader. And then I put like, this guy. Right? Like, up here. Right? And I would have this guy here, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm going forward with these lines, boys. I don't know what the computer tells me. I'm going with these lines right here. Lucic, 88. McDavid, 93. Louis Erickson, 87. Then we got Max Domi, 85. Leon Dreisaitl, 85. Eberle, 85. We got Toby Reader, 83. Latestu, 82. Yakupov, 84. Fourth line. This is a good fourth line. 83 Maroon, 82 Hendricks, 81 Cassian. That's a good fourth line. Some physical branded hockey. Look at that. All five-star physical. Let's go, Edmonton. Come on. Pump it up, boys. The season's coming. Here we go. Nicholas Cronwell. We got Oscar Clefbaum, Adam Larson, Mark Stride, Darnell Nurse, and Griffin Reinhardt. Solid, solid, solid team here. Uh, goalies. There it is. Ryan Miller, 84 backup. Strong and ready. 
Cam Talbot, 85. Let's go, Edmonton. Pacarinen, uh, Davidson, and Beck. All right. So that, that is going to be our 2017-2018 Edmonton Oilers. All right. I just want to see because I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. I'm, I, I'm almost confident we have traded away one of our assistant captains in Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So let's check our captains and jerseys. Oh, we don't have Connor as the A, the, the C yet. Oh, we got to change that. All right, so... Oh, Cronwell's the C. Shit. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to put the new captain of the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid. Captain. All right. So Connor's going to be our captain. Our assistant captain, since he's been here for so long, rotting in this franchise, I feel bad for him. Number 14, Jordan Everly, all right? He's been here a long time. He's been a trooper. He's been a real trooper, all right? And he's he's going to be here a while, and you know what? I like him a lot, so respect to him. And lastly, we're going to give it to the veteran present, Nick Cronwall, all right? There it is, Nick Cronwall. A little bit of a demotion for Cronwall, but hopefully he understands. He's kind of old. Alright, so that is going to be it for this video. We have made the team. You saw it. I mean, look at our overalls. They bolstered big. 92, 92, 87. That's a pretty solid team. I want us to make the playoffs, alright? Last year wasn't the best year for us. I don't remember what we finished with. I'm going to have to check on that. But nonetheless, we need to finish in the playoffs. Alright, boys. And we need to do that this year. I think we can do that. I think the Edmonton Oilers can make that push with some line juggling by the coach. And we'll see what happens, all right? The Edmonton Oilers are ready for business in year number two.